welcome in the RPSAP team. It's another tutorial. Today we are going to discuss uh, third party sales process. Third party sales. I repeat, uh, what is the third party sales process? For example, uh, we are a uh, organization. We are giving some services to uh, some services to any organization we are organization one and and we are taking the services not by self we are giving the service uh, taking the services from organization three okay for example uh, the installation of the cctv camera installation of installation work of the cctv camera and all and uh, internet security okay we have taken this work from organization 3 and giving to organization 2 so for me for me organization 2 is a customer okay and organization 3 as a vendor Vendor, we have taken the services. Customer, we are giving the services. Organization 2, which is customer, is giving the amount to Organization 1. Okay. And Organization 1 will give the amount to Organization 3 for their services. For this, we are going to create the process in the SAP. So, first, the process is create the sales order using transaction code VA01 you need to choose the order type ZTPP and the sales organization your circle code distribution channel is 03 division is 13 and you need to enter okay once you need to enter then system will generate this so here you need to fill the customer code here you need to fill the customer code and uh, see this is the uh, material and uh, plan material code quantity press enter and requisitioner here you need to fill the material uh, requisitioner number purchase group and uh, fix vector and this is the info record okay you need to fill all these things okay and uh, fix vendor is there and uh, fill all the required entry fields in which is important for example valuation price and all okay see uh, once you press the enter so double click on the line item and select the condition tab and this is the condition tab okay and uh, in the condition tab you fill the ba uh, tags the basic price uh, in the zpro and all okay and once you fill the basic price and all press the save button okay so once you click on the save third party sales order has been saved okay third party sales order has been saved now okay Run the VA03 to display the sales order. Runs the VA03 to display the sales order and click on the enter. So here you need to display third party sales order sold to party. This is our customer. Ship to party. This is our customer. This material we are uh, providing to the customer. PPS third party material. Okay. And double click on the line item. Once you double click on the line item, item the system will display the sales order. Select the schedule line to check the purchase order. Okay. See, this is the schedule line. This is the schedule line. This is the schedule line and this is the purchase requisition number. Okay. On the basis of this purchase requisition number, uh, for the selling of the third party testing materials we will create the purchase order 
okay we will create the purchase order after cre creation of the purchase equation we will create the bo using transaction code me21n okay so we are creating the purchase order uh, with respect to purchase requisition so click the document overview on click on the selection variant click this purchase requisition and select this and adopt this once you adopt this all the this is the adopt button okay once you adopt all the things we are creating in the purchase requisition and per sales order will be reflecting here okay and see uh, this is third party sales order jet tps third party sales order using account assignment x and item category s this material is there this is our vendor okay uh, from this vendor we are taking this services okay this is the basic price and tax and all okay now we have to release this purchase order okay and once we release the purchase order on the basis of the this purchase order we are going to take the good receipt on the basis of this purchase order okay and uh, see here you need to uh, have to take care uh, while doing the good receipt that uh, in the good receipt you need to choose good receipt against purchase order here you fill the purchase order a moment type is 101 and uh, vendor is optal india limited this is the testing materials and where account assignment and all you need to fill this data and uh, once you do the good receipt a material document has been posted okay see uh, in the account assignment gl account is this 2690109 this gl is affected for our company in your company is uh, different dif different different gl may be created for this process so this in account assignment 2690109 profit center 1000 business area 2101 and this is our sales order number line item 10 and all okay once the uh, posted material document on the basis of this material go document run the myro okay now the myro document has been posted and myro document is ready for payment now run the transaction code uh, vf01 and uh, here you need to in document here you need to fill the sales order number and on the basis of the sales order number you need to create the invoice for the customer okay once you enter and post the document uh, invoice billing document will be generated for the customer you can take this uh, print out of the invoice and give to your customer okay so on the basis of this invoice you will receive the payment okay on the basis of vendor invoice you will pay to the payment and uh, receive the payment from customer uh, credit to the payment to the vendor this will be setting off each and every with the, their respective documents okay so in this process this is uh, the way how we can create all these things okay in the net summary we are creating the sales order va01 sales order uh, sales order is third party sales order okay first one second one we are creating the purchase requisition automatically in the schedule line uh, in the sales order against customer third we are creating the PO with respect to purchase requisition for the vendor fourth process is we are doing good receipt 
GR with respect to purchase order. Okay. The fourth one is fifth one is Miro invoice receipt invoice verification with respect to Migo document. Because once you receive the Migo document, the GRIR uh, document has been generated. Sixth one is we will create the VF01 customer invoice. Okay. Third one is this Miro is for vendor payment. Okay. And seventh one is we are uh, print and issue invoice to customer okay now settle of payment okay so, so this is the process whole process okay this is the basic summarize form of the whole process okay thank you please share this knowledge with your friends and colleagues who are working in the area and if you have any doubts please mention in the comment section if you are new in our youtube channel please subscribe our youtube channel and uh, we are frequently creating training and testing purpose basic tutorial for your daily use thank you have a nice day